Last Thursday, I was at school and I had a phone call from, well, my husband rang the head teacher and she came to fetch me, um, took me to one side um, and explained that I'd need to get home quickly. There'd been a fire uh, um, at the house and that I needed to get home. So I've, I came down home, there was three or four fire engines outside. The road was completely blocked off. Um, the front of the house didn't look too bad, but obviously the back of the house, when you looked at it, it was it was just all gone. My husband was in the house, he got dragged out by the fireman, he was working nights. So they came and took him out, so it was my husband that was here. And I came down to my husband, um, the, my little boy was at school, and Iris was at the childminders, so they went in the house or near the house. Um, I walked in for about two minutes to get using my husband some shoes because he'd got no shoes or anything on and it was just complete ruin. There was water everywhere and everything was just black. It was horrible. It's all you could smell, just, just burning, just smoke really, really strong um, and we couldn't get rid of that smell for, for, for days. We had to really, really scrub everything to get rid of it. But I knew everything had gone. I already knew everything had gone. As soon as I stepped in, I knew it had all gone. So there's things that, that Oliver had, that we had, that we knew were irreplaceable. So it was just heartbreaking. And it still is, you know, even though we're getting everything done, I think if I stopped, I'd just crumble. But we've had so many people that have helped. It's been amazing. And without them, I honestly don't know what we would have done. I really don't know what we would have done. So Oliver's more aware of what's happened. Um, he's quite traumatised, quite upset. Um, makes me check every night, is everything turned off, is there going to be another fire, getting quite overprotective over his sister, crying before school, really not like him, quite acting up sometimes, which it, it, it's really not like him, and he'll tell me that it's upset, and that he's upset because everything's gone, so we just want to get him home. We've got to keep going, we've got to keep going, because otherwise, if we stop, I think we'd, we'd both crumble, but if we keep him busy all the time, it's, it just makes it bearable. And just the thought of them coming home, that's all that's keeping me going is I just want them home.